In this video, we're performing a small incision ultra thin cut DSEC using a 2.4 millimeter incision and 47 micron tissue. The eye is prepared in a standard fashion by making two paresthesis ports and filling that with helon, and then an inferior peripheral aerodectomy is cut with the duet scissors. The eye is measured and marked here. We're using an 8 millimeter marking ring, and then Desmase is scored with the nick pick and then removed. This is a 2.4 millimeter keratome used to enter the eye via a clear corneal incision similar to what you'd use in cataract surgery. Then using a pair of utrata forceps, Desmase membrane is removed from the eye, uh, placed on a wex cell and sent to our pathologist. Peripheral roughening is then performed using this mellis scraper. We've marked this donor cornea and we're going to go ahead and center it on a tree fine and then punch it out with an 8.0 millimeter punch. No vacuum is used here as the tissue is very thin. I did not want to perforate it. The scleral rim is removed and a small amount of helon is used to coat the endothelium. Our attention is then directed back towards the eye where we remove the viscoelastic from the eye and polish or buff the posterior corneal surface. The donor tissue is very thin here at 47 microns and it's a little bit tough to handle, but we go ahead and use do an underfold here and then load it onto these Charlie 1 forceps. There is a small point of compression here at the tip of the forceps where you have to grasp the tissue. The tissue is then inserted into the eye. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult to get the forceps to release the tissue, but as you saw, the insertion was very atraumatic through this incision. I did widen this incision to probably about 2.6 or 2.75 millimeters. The eye is inflated with BSS, and then a single interrupted 10 nylon suture is used to close this clear corneal incision. Next, we're going to sneak an air cannula in underneath the graft and use it to unfold the graft and put it up against the posterior corneal surface. We let the patient sit for approximately five minutes in the OR giving drops of atropine and timolol and diamox in the post operative unit.